So where did our founders get their ideas that made the Declaration the most successful government document in the history of the world? They themselves answered that question. Founders like James Otis, who was the mentor of both Samuel Adams and John Hancock, declared that, quote, The authority of Mr. Locke has been preferred to all others. Declaration signers such as John Adams, Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Jefferson, and Benjamin Rush, and many others, similarly sang the praises of John Locke. And John Quincy Adams declared, quote, The Declaration of Independence was founded upon one of the same theory of government, expounded in the writings of Locke. Clearly, John Locke had a huge political influence in America. Interestingly, critics today call Locke a deist, but this is completely erroneous. Not only was John Locke considered a theologian by previous generations, but he even wrote a verse-by-verse -verse commentary on Paul's epistles and compiled a topical Bible, which he called a commonplace book to the Holy Bible. It listed the verses in the Bible subject by subject. And when the anti-religious Enlightenment thinkers attacked Christianity, Locke defended it in his book, The Reasonableness of Christianity as Delivered in the Scriptures. And then when he was attacked for defending Christianity in that first work, he responded with the work a vindication of the reasonableness of Christianity. Still being attacked, two years later, Locke wrote a second vindication of the reasonableness of Christianity. No wonder earlier generations considered him a theologian. However, the writing of John Locke that most influenced the Founder's philosophy in the Declaration of Independence is this work, The Two Treatises of Civil Government by John Locke. In fact, signer of the Declaration, Richard Henry Lee, declared that the Declaration itself was, quote, copied from Locke's treatise on government. This is an amazing book. It's less than 400 pages long. It's only an inch and a quarter thick. Yet Locke refers to the Bible some 1,500 times in this one book in order to show the proper operation of civil government. And this is the primary work influencing the Declaration of Independence. No wonder it's been such a successful document.